Welcome to the Female VC Lab Podcast. I have Carrie here. Carrie, in one line, give me your name, your title, and the name of your fund. I'm Carrie Finley, the CEO and CIO of Tacora Capital. What inspired you to become an investor or a venture capitalist, Carrie? When I was in college, I just applied to every job on the Columbia University Career Center job board. Oh, wow. And I got put in something called ABS CDO Research when I was 22 years old. I loved it. And I just kept kept figuring out the next step from there. That's great. Tell us a little bit about your investment thesis and the motivation behind your thesis. So in about 2013, I met a company called SoFi. And oh, yeah. they, they, were have the stadium over, they have the stadium over here. Yes, they do. <laughs> At the time, they were originating to students who went to Harvard, Yale, Stanford, Princeton, and other top colleges. Mm-hmm. And they were in a situation where, where they couldn't get financing on those assets. To me, that just created this amazing opportunity. The banks looked at it as, this is new, this is different. And from there, I came up with this idea that venture-backed businesses needed a source of balance sheet capital to complement the venture equity and venture debt that they were receiving. And so I created a product to do that. You know what? It's very true that companies in general need many different types of financing products. I think as venture capitalists and investors, sometimes we don't advise them well enough on that, that there are many opportunities to have a broad range of financing capabilities. I completely agree. What are you currently learning or listening to or reading these days? What have I been learning about? I've been, I read all the 10Ks and 10Qs of the other fintech businesses. I read other funds quarterly letters. I read a really great book recently called Witness to the Prosecution, which was about Michael Milken and his trial or I guess non-trial, but his indictment and and jail sentence in the, I think it was either late 80s or early 90s. It was in the 80s. It was in the 80s. Yeah, it was a really great book. And it's mainly, I'm, right now I'm reading the Michael Lewis book about Sam Bankman-Fried. So it's mainly finance related, finance adjacent type reading and learning. Interesting. Did you read the book on Theranos? I started it. I think it was called Bad Blood. I started yeah, it. Blood. I don't think I ever ended up finishing it. For some reason that character didn't or the didn't quite resonate with me the way the way some others had. It just it seemed a little bit like a caricature more than it seemed or less felt to me like a real person. Like a book. Exactly. <laughs> it felt like it was fictional, I guess is the best way to say it. That that's a good point. Sometimes people do have narratives and they create that in a physical or written format. All right. So in two years, how do you see venture capital or investing having changed or evolved? I hope that, that venture capitalists over time get more comfortable with debt. Some of the best venture capitalists going back 30 years equate debt. They actually will just call it a four letter word. And They don't think it's good for the ecosystem. And I think when you think back to the original venture-backed businesses, think about things like, maybe not original, but back in 20 years ago, things like Google, Intel, those venture-backed businesses probably shouldn't have had debt early on. Facebook shouldn't have had debt early on. Mm -hmm. But when you think about businesses that are trying to innovate in new industries for venture, like financial services, insurance, maybe something in real estate. I think there is a healthy amount of debt that really can help the companies grow and help the companies grow responsibly. So from my perspective, I hope that over time, we have a handful of success stories. In the Takora portfolio, there's a handful of success stories of some of our competitors and that the venture ecosystem becomes more comfortable with with asset-based financing, balance sheet capital, whatever you want to call it, to help to help nascent companies grow, I would say, sustainably and thoughtfully. So when you're thinking about asset-backed financing, that's what I'll call it, that could be anything, 
Do you look at hardware as well? Are, are you said fintech insurance, real estate? Are you looking at anything that can have a potential asset? Are you looking at energy? Are you looking at power? Kind of what are you looking at now? Where do you see the debt flowing like now in this time? Yeah, we actually are looking at a business in the energy space right now. We've looked at businesses in the nuclear space when they want kind of project financing. We haven't done any of those. We've done one deal in equipment, but most of what we look at is financial assets. We do look at hard assets. They can be a little more cumbersome to get appraised and that sort of stuff. So sometimes it's a little more complicated to get to the end. We had a company that we loved that we were looking at in December Mm -hmm. and the appraisal of their assets, it was a hard asset, let's call it a hardware to business just didn't come in where they thought it would and where we needed it to be able to refinance out the venture debt they had. Mm -hmm. And so Mm -hmm. we weren't able to move forward. And so that's, I would say that with hardware, there's more risk of appraisals not coming in as expected. And so it can be a little more complicated to finance, but we like the asset. We just think sometimes understanding the price that it would that it's worth is a little bit more difficult. That makes sense. How do people contact you? Carry at tacoracap.com is the is the easiest way. They can also go to our website and come in through our info page, but www.tacoracap.com is how we is the easiest way to tell us about your company and we we'll take a call with with any entrepreneur who's who's interested in what we're doing. Thank you so much Carrie Finley from Tacora Capital for being my guest on The Female 